We are back now with that scene that looks like it's in a movie. Three sailors shipwrecked, desperate, marooned on a deserted island. Incredibly, though, rescued after making this giant help sign in the sand. ABC's Matt Gutman has all the dramatic details. Good morning to you, Matt. Hey, good morning to you, Lara. They were marooned for three days after their fishing boat capsized, swimming to a tiny island through shark-infested waters, but they're a pretty resourceful bunch, using that giant help sign and even smoke signals to alert rescuers. Call it a real-life castaway. Hello? Anybody? This morning, three men rescued off a tiny remote island in the Pacific using palm fronds to spell out help in the sand and waving those bright orange life jackets. Their ordeal beginning last Monday, several hundred miles north of Papua New Guinea. The men setting out from another isolated speck in the Pacific, their home village of Pulap in Micronesia. Population? less than a thousand. Then just after two hours at sea, a massive wave capsizing their 19 foot skiff. The crew holding on to those life jackets and swimming nearly two miles in the dark. Washing up on a long deserted island, it had fishing shacks, but no way to contact help. The Pacific is a vast body of water, so it's very challenging to find any craft uh, within that region. After three days, a U.S. Navy plane receiving an alert about the missing men, first spotting that smoke signal, then that message in the sand. This was a huge win for us. It was a huge win for VP5. And more importantly, it was a huge win for the three guys that were on the island. We have not seen uh, any, any situation like this before. Castaways are more common than you'd think. In 2014, this group of snorkelers carved a giant SOS in the sandbar off Australia, a plane spotting them after nine hours. But nothing compares to this Mexican fisherman lost at sea for 14 months, living off of raw fish, uncooked birds, and turtles. Have no fear. Island survival, something we got a tutorial on last year. By far the most grueling. You're not getting enough smoke. But most important task, building a fire. And just like those survivors rescued this weekend, that fire, I give to you fire, would have been our saving grace. Yeah, fire is key. Now, while the U.S. Navy was the first to spot these castaways, this part of the Pacific is so vast that the Navy apparently told the castaways' families it'd be faster for them to take their own boats to rescue the men off the island. Sure, um, I'm sure it's something that they didn't mind doing. Lara. Matt, wait a second. What happened to your shirt? <laughs> Which shirt? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what we were trying to say. <laughs> Was there not? I think it was the pants that were missing in that shot. Uh, <laughs> you weren't going to look at that. It gives to us fire. Yeah. Thank you, Matt Gutman.